forward, and then back. Forward and back. Hey, welcome to the channel. It's a rainy adventure today, it seems. Oh, here we are. Here we are. So, you know, this wheel, the V13 and the Emotion V11, I think, you know, most of their wheels are really consider the weather and, you know, treating them as a commuter device. So something like this, you should be able to put them through. So false touch on the screen. What happens in the wet? It seems to get false touches. See, I didn't touch that then. All kinds of things. It was just switching back and forwards between power assistant and things all by itself. So that's something to watch. Um, I kind of wish there was a lock screen mode. Oh, it's all over the place. So let me just see what was turned on and off then. This is no good. It's put itself into transportation mode. You know, by itself. Um, but you don't want it doing that to you while you're rolling. Got a mind of its own when things start getting pressed. Uh, all I can think of is maybe putting this neoprene thing over it somehow. And even then, do I trust it? I've always wondered what this rope's for that I put here. I wonder if somehow I can MacGyver it. Okay, so for what's been happening for me on this little ride is my wheel's all over the place. It feels totally different now because the raindrops on the screen were making false touches. And now my pedals are harder. Feels like my, my, my wheel feels tilted. Um, and yeah, I've had to put this little cover just over the top of the screen. I just had to MacGyver myself a solution to see if I can keep rolling to make a bit of a video while I get used to how my wheel feels. If it dries up, I'll go and find somewhere to adjust it back to my settings. For a minute there, it put itself into transport mode. I couldn't figure out what was happening. It started just tilting by itself. And... So yeah, I guess it is a, a weatherproof wheel, but you know, there's a couple of things. My confidence is a little bit sketchy just now because you don't want your wheel doing things all by itself. So I really think there should be a, a lock screen, just like on your iPad, iPad and your iPhone, you know, you can turn off the touch. I think that'd be pretty important for these kind of conditions, just a wet mode. I mentioned it once before because this has happened to me before. So maybe I hope Emotion are listening out there and I'll reach out and mention it. But yeah, maybe, okay, could be a super quick video. I was going to go for a bit of a mission and put the wheel through the tests in the wet. I still am. It's copped a bit of a downpour today anyway. So I'll keep an eye on the display and uh, see if any water seeps in. That's really what I wanted to come and test. I didn't need to come out and do anything other than put the wheel through the test for you all. Sometimes you get stuck in the rain or you've got to commute and you know you need your wheel to hold up. I thought better me testing it for you than you all out there by yourself um, stuck in the rain. Yeah watch that maybe make a little cover some sort of thing just to put over that display if you're going to be caught in the wet. Let's see what, what we can do about getting that sorted. I'll roll for a little bit longer to get some footage. When I looked at electric vehicles and scooters and things like that, I, there's no way that I thought you could roll around in the rain like this. But things have come a long way and I know that the brands are treating them seriously and people are using them now to commute and get around and they need to rely on their usability in all the conditions. You know, I just wanted to make this video today to show that that, that can happen, you can do it. So I haven't really worn the waterproof gear today. Um, I had it there, but you know, this jacket will keep at least a layer off and then I'm wearing another layer under that. I've got my Liart braces. It's not that cold, I guess, but I'm starting to feel the cold, so I'll start heading home. This has been a good test. Anyway, I wanted to get out and put it through the wet and that way I can monitor it next time. Keep an eye on that display. After you've ridden in the wet, you want to make sure that you dry it all off. 
or just wait for it to dry before you plug those chargers in. Another thing with the charge port, you've got to make sure that you keep that sharp. You know, and before you go out, just double check in the wet that you've closed off that charge port fully. And make sure that your wheel can handle the wet. You don't want to go out and, you know, not have that, you know, confidence in the wheel. So all those things, try to gear up well because you might slip. Try to wear something visible. And then I've got the shred lights on as well just to help my visibility. But um, there we go, that's a good test, I think, of the InMotion V13 wet weather test. We'll soon find out anyway, won't we? You know, keep an eye on the channel and um, I'll let you know anyway how it goes over the next few videos. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching the channel. I'm going to get home and get a warm hot coffee. See how things hold up. Just watch that display and I'll reach out to the service team at InMotion. Um, I'll see what I can do and yeah, I mean... I, I was hesitant to put this out through the, the water, I always am, um, but I really only did it to show you and push the, the wheel to see how it holds up. So I really hope that it holds up. I don't want to damage my beautiful wheel, but do it, I guess, while it's under warranty and while you've got that support for in motion. You know, they've mentioned that they'll help anyone that's got the troubles with the displays. So I'm going to make sure that mine holds up. I've still got an extra layer of protection with the tape over top and I guess now I've got this neoprene cover I guess there's a design for somebody to make a few dollars isn't there just a way to strap it on or a 3d cover that you can just clip over in the wet it limits you being able to see it but I don't want to go into transport mode while I'm heading along at you know 25 kilometers an hour but the rain's really coming down and I don't want to get caught in the flood. So I'm going to make my way home. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time and we'll make another video. Uh, bye. Hey, my little MacGyver solution worked the whole way home. So it's just a bit of an elastic strap, which I quickly engineered in my head. A way to hold it down and for that trip it held up anyway. No more false touches on the wheel. Good. Hi, here we are back on the wheel. It's a little bit drier, so I just wanted to turn the wheel on and show you all that it sounds okay after such a downpour. There's no sounds from the bearings. Everything powered on okay. It charged back up, you know, to 100%, no problem. I just let things dry off before I plugged it in and then made sure everything was, you know, dry. And yeah, charged up, no problems. I ran a, diagnos a diagnosis just over everything to make sure that it all held up and that's beautiful. So I guess you can really report that all the electronics hold up. It's a good wheel for, for being able to trust that your batteries aren't gonna get wet, the motor's not gonna get wet, none of your boards. But you know, that was a good test because I found out a couple of things about this wheel and a couple of things that I guess I needed to know was the, the ghost touches and the water drops, you know making those touches onto the screen. So, you know, if you weren't aware of that and you were going around in a heavy rain and your screen touches were, you know, changing the settings on your wheel, it's gonna throw you off. It might not be the best recipe for success. You know, is this wheel waterproof? Yeah, but would you ride it in the rain? No, and uh, I reached out to InMotion. I wasn't too sure whether it was just my screen having an issue. I've got some tape over the screen and I thought that might have been causing the false touches. I've got the tape just over the edges. So I wanted to reach out to InMotion and see if they had, you know, were aware of this. And they are. I reached out to service department and, and they are aware of this. And, you know, they've had an experience of it themselves. It's the second time I've experienced those false touches and the second time I've been out in the rain. So I guess it does happen, absolutely. So I asked the service department what they recommend. And they said, you know, they really recommend you gear up first of all, especially on any wheel like the V13. And then, you know, not to really ride, not to ride it in the heavy rain. With the weatherproofing of this wheel and people wanting to trust it to commute, I said people might not be too happy that advise not wearing not not riding in the rain i'm going to recommend that you cover up your screen if you, you're caught in the rain and 
because I was asking if there's a chance they could put a lock screen on and a, an ability to just, you know, in the firmware, you could possibly lock your touch screen off so no touches will respond while you're rolling. Just like a lock screen on an iPhone. But um, they're actually going to add the membrane. So apparently it's a pretty easy fix. So they're going to do a video and show us how to do it. And they're going to send me out um, one of their membranes as soon as they've got them. And I'll see if my skills are up to it, I'll do a video. But that's a fix. And I mean, until then, I'd really recommend don't roll in the rain or put a little cover over your screen if you're going to do that because you saw what happened and luckily I picked up on it because I wasn't really rolling too fast so just be aware of that but um, yeah anyway I hope you got something from this video I still think it's amazing that InMotion are standing behind their product and helping out those glitches when they occur hey it's a good way to get your wheel washed it's very moist in my pants I thought that was a fish why would there be a fish there? Oh, my wheel's so wet. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Boink, splash, roll. Oh.